Michelle Carter accused of texting her boyfriend, convincing him to commit suicide. And even if you haven't watched it, you've likely heard about the popular Netflix show 13 Reasons Why and putting a spotlight on teen suicide. Some say it romanticizes kids ending their lives and fosters revenge fantasies. But what's being done to help teens cope? Kendra Conlon finds a local group helping to tackle this tough topic. This isn't where you'd expect to see students over summer break sitting in a classroom voluntarily, but some feel with the problems teens are facing with peer pressure, bullying, low self esteem and thoughts of suicide. It's worth learning to speak up. It could help save a life. Why didn't you say this to me when I was alive? It was scary for a lot of people. Gaither High senior so Elijah so Salgado says know. the series 13 Reasons Why about a girl's suicide made some dark feelings surface in students at his school. Not long after it came out, one kid tried to commit suicide in the school. So he tried jumping off the balcony, but luckily some cops pulled him back. Now that school's out for summer, he sees more cyberbullying through social media. Because it's definitely easier to speak when you're behind a phone and just say hurtful things. People starting stuff and then things will eventually lead happening in real life. Good afternoon, everyone. The Hillsborough oh, County Anti-Drug Alliance says that's why now is the best time to talk with teens about these serious subjects. Uh, what are some opportunities where you may have Learning to, to say no, stopping bullying, and speaking up when they're overwhelmed. It's part of a seven-week free summer program for teens. To help with their self-esteem, to help with their peer pressure. Peer pressure is the biggest thing because most of the kids who can overcome peer pressure, they can overcome almost everything. Denise Baruji Evans says parents have to be connected to kids to notice changes and open communication before it's too late. It's better to, instead of keeping everything inside, to let it all out because some people can only take it for so long. And classes like these definitely help out. In Tampa, Kendra Conlin, 10 News. And they'd love to have more teens come out to these things. Kendra mentioned that they're free, so it makes it easy to get to. Yeah, if you want to check them out, they're every Wednesday afternoon from 2 to 4 at the Hillsborough County Anti-Drug Alliance. All you have to do if you're a student is just show up. And it is important to tell you right here, there is help if you or someone you love needs help. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is available, 1-800-273-TALK. You see it on your screen. We also have this number for you on our website, WTSP.com.